Hi guys, uh, and welcome to uh, the Chess Base uh, Studio in Hamburg. My name is uh, Rustam Kasimjanov. I am a chess grandmaster and a former world champion from Uzbekistan. And uh, today I have a really nice topic for you, a topic which uh, took me a lot of work, and um, it is the complete black repertoire in uh, Nimzo Indian. So Nimzo Indian, as uh, you are well aware of, is the opening which arises after these three moves. And um, Nimzo Indian has been um, one of the main openings, one of the most classical openings black has against d4, and in fact has been played basically by every strong player alive. Um, in fact, I was trying to think of a strong grandmaster or world champion, um, anybody who would have never played um, the Nimzo, and I just couldn't think of anybody. So I think this is uh, really something everybody has to have played in his life, has to have analyzed. And my ambition for this particular DVD is to give you a complete bulletproof repertoire with black starting from this position and this is a very ambitious task uh, but I did do a lot of work when preparing for this DVD so um, I hope this task uh, I will succeed in completing so basically what we are going to look at um, in this uh, in this opening um, well it's basically everything since we are talking a complete repertoire so since, um, I mean, in general, the idea of the opening, if I may be allowed, you know, to go back a little bit, maybe like 100 years back in our history, the idea of the opening, as back then um, thought of by Nimtsovich, um, who kind of popularized this opening, and not only this opening, and um, gave it the name, Nimtso Indian, is the following. Black basically does not want an immediate confrontation in the center, which back then often resulted in having the, the so-called Karlsbad structure. So basically Nimtsovich was not a fan of this Karlsbad structure, and up to this day uh, the Karlsbad structure is supposed to be the most challenging way um, to, to play this. Uh, so in a way he was right, we can say this, now probably 100 years later and he wanted to come up with the way for black to play uh, which is more flexible and which does not really give white chances to define the structure in the opening immediately so he's waiting whilst making a normal developing move c4 e6 so this is basically the point he wants to prove that he can play on equal terms with white without immediately putting you know all his pawns into the center and now after knight f3 he was going b6 pretty much in the same vein and not really immediately um, occupying the center with the pawns and after knight c3 he was playing bishop b4 and um, by now it is all like really well known, but back then, like 100 years ago, it was uh, uh, bordering on um, on the at least very unusual, like slash insane, not to occupy any uh, central squares with your pawns. But, you know, 100 years is a long time in chess, and uh, the ideas of, uh, of Nimsovich, uh, they lived and they thrived, and they will continue to live for 100 years more. To come, so basically, as uh, as you will have uh, at least felt, um, knight of three b six uh, is uh, fighting for the square e four, and of course our opening knight c three bishop b four is the, is the th is same thing. Uh, black is bringing his bishop to b four, uh, not just to develop a bishop, this he does. Of course, but also he is fighting for this particular square. And the fight for the square e4 
will have many facets um, in our opening and basically uh, a lot of fight um, in this opening uh, is connected to the square. So we will take a look at yeah, at everything more or less and um, this everything includes the main lines like e3 after which we play uh, b6 followed by bishop b7 and c5 the main line queen c2 which has a direct aim of fighting for the e4 square after which we play castles and uh, we'll look at um, um, very modern f3 and um, this in some detail and we'll also look at all the systems which white does not play very often including a3 g3 knight f3 bishop d2 and bishop g5 and um, basically on this dvd i have given you without hesitation and without any second thoughts everything i know about the opening at least the very best i know about this opening and there wasn't a single instance where i knew of a clearly better continuation which i hid from you so this is my personal promise to you and um all this um, having been said, I hope you will um, enjoy uh, this DVD. I hope you will enjoy this journey with me through the secrets and the mysteries of one of my favorite openings with both colors, actually. But in this particular DVD, um, we're doing this uh, primarily for black, building a complete repertoire, starting from this position um, with black. And... Um, yeah, I hope you will enjoy this journey with me and, uh, well, let's get to work.